everybody. Welcome to Reiki Recovery Wellness. This session is specifically for forgiveness. is to balance and release any anger solidifying our innate sovereignty to provide this gift to us. I will be using oils and I'll also be Using some crystals and this session highlights the cerebellum the peace within the brain that forgives to be using my Young Living oils. I'll have them listed. I'm going to ask your higher self to come through with the vision of how we want our inner peace to show into our life today. surrender. Now, I probably won't be showing you these as I go. This is a piece of Lemurian quartz. We're diving deep into the inner being, into the pieces of us, into the cere cerebellum, the in 
anterior, superior, temporal, so close, so close, I think I'm saying that right. It's um, highlighting the gray, the gray of our brain. Going to release that fear that's coming up, the fear of control, the fear of religious beliefs, the fear of individual expression and being shunned for it. Forgiveness is a gift we give ourselves. to release the heart space of any tension, any misled beliefs, Withdraw any sort of negativity that no longer serves us. Removing any sort of feelings of lust in their, their, their lack of Weekend. Awaken our deepest desires and dreams. Awaken our innate power. going to be using lapis. Lapis for
clear and concise action. In communication, this is going to release that that tension within our heart. The part of us with the ego, the ego blocks. any sort of healing as a defense mechanism. So we are going to tap into the humility. angelic purification to dive deep into the chest and throat tapping into snake energy to release any blockages any sort of propaganda any sort of double-edged sword that still reigns true before you that no longer serves. And we're going to be using red calcite. Tapping into the Kundalini, releasing any fear based projections. Rising all the way up into your soul star. Connecting to security. that really shifts the, the DNA, the molecules, the cellular knowing, your inner being knows what's best, we're using eye light, to trust the process, know that everything is always working out for you. We're 
releasing any self-imposed fears and forgiving. We're needed. So my love, Come through and see what. So we're going to release any anger with Chris Cook. crystals or the minerals properties to transmute time and space Relieving any sort of depression and allowing the healing to take place with this beautiful turquoise color. And take a deep breath in and hold for four, three, two, one and breathe out for four, three, two, one, and do that a few more times. truths that are looking to come forth and work with you going forward. Good. And we're tapping into Rhodonite for love and compassion with the help of our ancestry or our ancestors our ascended masters, our guardian angels, tapping into that awareness,
blue lace agate will help clear and to help release any sort of lingering vibrations, any residual anger. Envision your your eyes being massaged with this beautiful piece of blue lace agate. tap into that passage and remove the pain going to tap into some beautiful snowflake obsidian. And transmute some Apache tears. This is touching base with your inner punisher and removing the self-judgment, the resentment, self-criticism, our inner punisher can be nurtured. important to practice awareness so we understand when this is happening okay. over the next several weeks be aware of the harsh energies that are being released through our inner punisher As we release this pain, all is well, and we are deeply loved to be using frankincense for our crown, our head, and our temples. Infusing this with rose quartz. We are healing our hearts, our minds, and our body and spirit. Source is always with us, in us.
source is everything. Unconditional love, compassion, acceptance, and trust. You are not alone. There is love here. As I massage this in, Vision the color green or whatever color is coming to you. Just grounding you. I'm just going to seal you off with a simple Hey everybody, welcome to Ricky Recovery Wellness. My name is Erica. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification button to see when I upload. I upload every week, at least I try to. Um, now if you're looking to purchase any of these decks, you can find them on my Etsy shop. The link's in the description box. And I hope you enjoyed your Reiki session. Okay, so let's hop to the reading here. Alignment. It's like our favorite card. We have grief. We have 
crisis. And we have happy. Okay, so a lot of conflicting energies, but definitely, um, definitely you've done the work. You've um, accumulated a lot of um, inner peace. You've accumulated just um, an overall rounded sense of a human being. And with grief and crisis being right in the middle between these two cards, it's just showing me like these, uh, this is just essentially like just topics, but you're doing the work within, um, possibly in some sort of like solitude, really, you know, sticking to yourself, unable to express yourself. And, um, just really wanting clarity on how to move forward but I feel like answers are coming like when you, when you ask the question the answers are on their way you're definitely gonna find them so it's just a matter of like discovering that question and figuring out what it is I do feel like you know overall your life is in alignment here and you are essentially happy so you know recognizing that you are happy and you're like Eric I'm not happy uh, you are and just you know tune in tap in and turn on to you know your inner being and and say okay so apparently I'm happy what do you mean how am I happy so you know try to discover it it's probably tucked away and you know your inner child that as far as every other reading that we've been doing wants to come out and shine you know and be that bright spirit um, and help support you you know, um, so let's just, let's just see what the tarot says. Okay. Where's the grief and the crisis coming from, spirit? It's winter time and a thing that I like to include in my daily life is using a happy light. Um, I do not have seasonal affective disorder, however, I do appreciate the benefits of the types of um, tools created for that. I like it and it gives me a brighter light and it does help. Um, it looks like kind of an iPad, um, but I got mine off Amazon, and um, it really helps when I think to plug it in, and it just gives a brighter feel. So um, I'm sensing, you know, winter. Winter is a factor here. I'm sensing some sort of separation, a separation within a family member, um, some children. All right, so we're going to discover the alignment. So, hmm. we have alignment, and that's being clarified by the Ace of Cups. So, I do feel like a gift is here for you. I, um... I do believe that this, you know, you have a lot of passion, a lot of feelings, a lot of love for this connection. And it's kind of like there's a barrier here. You're unable to, you know, necessarily um, reach out to this connection. There is a fence here. And this fence is just showing me that there is some sort of barrier, some sort of obstacle, some sort of... Um, some sort of thing that needs to happen, like a wake-up call, in order to get past that fence here. Um, it's being clarified here by the Three of Pentacles, so it's just telling me that you are spiritually protected. Um, this connection is protected. Um, this could involve, you know, um, more than two people. So um, there is some sort of um, some sort of like it, it involves working together, working towards that peace project, working towards the ultimate like. How you how you want it to go into motion how you want it to have a healthy circulation um, because you're going to be working together no matter what 
Um, I'm also getting the message here that it's just definitely it's important for you to important to be aware of like of what's actually happening. Um, I'm getting that frog reference of you know um, they go into this water and it's and it's cool and it's warming up and it's warming up and the, they don't it does they don't realize it because they're getting um, desensitized to it um, just like any other thing um, so when something becomes you know a way of life and regardless of if we agree with it or not we become desensitized to it if we aren't practicing uh, conscious awareness which you can do in meditation but I do feel like once you are able to get into that state of you know emptying your mind something is going to come in here some sort of divine intervention where it like actually can give you an answer so let's just clarify that a little bit more actually I'm gonna split the deck here So I read this as the Nine of Cups. So this is a very old deck. So anyway, um, so the Nine of Cups here. Um, I believe that what's going to be coming in is something of a wish, a wish fulfillment, um, something that you've always dreamed of, and it was always just this on this pedestal um, for you. It's like you're waiting for it to happen. Um, you know, I feel like you're in in and out of a state of delusion. You want to be able to enjoy it, but I feel like it's more than, you know, this connection has more than one um, one party. Um, so just be mindful of like, you know, practicing your guilt. Are you feeling guilty? Like, why are you feeling guilty? Um, what are you trying to sweep under the rug? It's important that we practice doing the next right thing and keeping our side of the street clean. We want to keep our cup filled. We want to be able to help people, you know, because overall when you follow what's true and you follow that higher self, that higher self guidance and you do things for the right reason, you know, good health, honor, financial gains are upon you. I, um, I do feel like this connection gives you like that pep in your step and, you know, um, like a sense of purpose, um, but just know that like I, I do I do feel like with this collective of my group of people here that you know finances are not to be worried about um, everything is always working out for you God will provide um, and it goes right back to this ace of cups like this this beautiful feeling this this ever ever flowing love so this is just telling me it's unconditional and this connection is definitely going to work out So, let's figure out grief. Why is grief here? Why are we grieving? I feel like you're getting in touch with your shadow self. You're in your shadow self period. Yeah, so we have the five of wands. Clarifying with the empress. Interesting, okay. So I feel like there's a competitive nature here, probably in the home life, and where you are, it's like you're always in competition, um, you're doing the dance right now, always looking back, so that's a problem. Um, and it's causing you grief. You're, you're in that constant state of worry, constantly looking down at your feet. It's important that we look people in the eyes. And I know it's... Um, the masks and stuff you can't like shake hands or anything but you know just you know take a few deep breaths when you wake up in the morning and start working together because the five of um five of wands here it's it's you know passionate um you guys are essentially working together um but it's really getting past those illusions of um of you know fighting because you guys are protected and this is you guys are being nurtured here 
you know, and this is being clarified by the Empress. So, um, to me, it's like you don't really want the fighting. You don't. You don't want it. You don't need it. You know what you deserve. You're in your power. I, I, I just hear like growing old. Mm, there's definitely a star reference here. Um, but what I'm, what the guidance to this message is like, don't look back, keep going, keep your eyes, keep, keep everything in front of you. Um, stay in the present moment, really, um, practice that safety net. Like just know that you are safe, you are loved and you are protected. Because the Empress wants you to know that, you know, all is well. And um, right under her is the Four of Wands here. So this is definitely a divine connection. Um, I want to see what this... So this is an old tarot deck that I got. And it was made in 1965. Um, so we have the Six of Pentacles. Um, so it just signals good fortune and success. I feel like you're waiting for that balance to ring in here. And you're in and out in between, you know, two worlds. But there's an offer coming in, and I feel like you're going to be able to deliver something very important. So, we're going to see why Crisis is here. Where am I? Why is Crisis? What's going on? What crisis is happening right now? I feel like you're so far away. Okay. I'm gonna sneeze. No, oh, excuse me. Okay. So the Nine of Pentacles is clarifying crisis. Um, hmm. I feel like a lot of reluctance, or a lot of reluctance to move forward, um, a lot of reluctance to, I feel like it's like you're going against what you truly believe is right, and you're grinding your teeth along the way, I don't know why you're doing this, um, it's causing fights, um, you always have your, you always have your battle gear on. I feel like you're the one that's really jumping through hoops here. But you're sitting in your power. So, um... We're clarifying it with the two of wands. It's like... So with this card, I feel like you're, you're kind of just... Ready to just take a roll of the dice and just gamble and just leave it up to chance. And, and say, oh, you know, I hope this is going to work out. And, um... Let it, let it just be, and it will all work out perfectly. Um, well, um, you know, that's great, and I admire it. So I feel like you're just leaving it up to chance, and you're just, which I admire. And, um, you know, you're letting go of control, and you're just willing to see what happens, but, you know, you got to do the inner work. Um, so spirit can take care of the rest, you know, take care of, um, we always want to tend to our vibration and I feel like that doing that will really assist the, the realm, the angelic realm.
because it's guaranteed success, but it's more or less like, what are you actually going to do in order to make it happen? I mean, do you honestly want to leave it up to chance? I know you're probably tired and you're winded and you know, you've tried every way and you're like, how am I gonna do this? Well, sometimes when we remove ourselves from a tense situation, then we're able to think clearly. So that's just one option. Um, so we have the Eight of Swords and, um, you know, that's like a self-created fear and you're staying trapped. Um, I think we talked about that before, uh, maybe not, but um, it says do not waste time on an unimportant issue when in doubt, do nothing. Um, so, you know, spirit is just suggest suggest suggesting to just, you know, take it easy right now, you know, maybe... Um, you know, take baby steps. This is like, it's like you're staying stuck and you don't have to stay stuck. You know, really tap into your uh, your solar plexus, your stomach, ch your stomach energy center because there's a lot of uh, pain, a lot of withheld emotions in there, okay? You gotta release them somehow. set the intention to do so. Oh, the three of swords almost came out in reverse. So why is happy here? Why is happy here? All right. Okay, we have the six of wands. It's funny. Okay, the six of wands is clarifying happy. So we do feel like a union of sorts is happening. Um, and it's definitely divinely guided. I also feel like there is clarity coming through. Um, a lot of passion, a lot of fire, a lot of healing, um, you know, probably around Christmas time. Um, this connection makes you happy, it, it builds up your, um, your feelings, you know the feelings are honest. And we have the Three of Swords here, and I do feel like there is something happening um, that is transforming, transforming. Um, you know, you're releasing the heartbreak, you're realizing that you can't, you, you know, you can't change people, um, you can't change things. And you can change yourself, you know, and you're trying to just do that heart repair here. And there's definitely a deep transformation with this because, I mean, I feel like you've definitely hit rock bottom. And um, sometimes the best thing we can do is just, you know, um, just take our cups, you know, and, and fill them up and take care of ourselves and tend to our vibration here. Um, you know, I do feel like that major clarity is coming in. And, um, you know, it's, it's more or less like... You know, just be open-minded. Really keep your ears open. You can always hear the message. So it's really important to listen. Uh, listen to others when they're talking. Uh, be mindful of, of that. Um, it also can, it's, it, the answer's gonna come to you some sort of way, but it's coming, okay? Um, we have the Nine of Pentacles, so you're really doing the work. You know, you're doing the work independently. Um, you know, I feel like you're releasing the chains that bind you. Um, you know, you're being um, assured by your successful accomplishments. So you know how to make money. You know how to um, do what you're doing. You know how to be kind and try and be better and do the inner work. So it definitely is happening and it's transforming your life. So let's get some recovery messages here. I want to come out. So we have surrender to win. That's really great. Um, this pain no longer serves you. Let go and allow the organic current of the universe to take care of you. The best way forward is to relinquish control, which I feel like you're doing. Your vision will reappear. And then we also have family. And it says get in touch with those you love. 
there are close relationships near and far that support you unconditionally angels above healing family patterns you are healing ancestry line lineage clearing so i want to get some more messages from here and get some suggestions um, on how to move forward um we have surrendered to win and we have family so you know, I do feel like, um, like my friend Marcy posted a video today and it was about the third eye activation and like the fear that happens and going backwards, you know, you've done all this work so there's no sense in going backwards. Sometimes, you know, things happen the way they're supposed to and it's not as bad as the mind makes it out to be. Um, so I, you know, you can u utilize your family for support you know, or maybe you're just having some family difficulties, you know, but there's always things that can help turn that around, okay, because, you know, going back to it, it's like you are in alignment, so how can, how can you utilize that and um, pivot and get into a state of, you know, helping others and releasing that isolation state and being that courageous leader that you are, um, okay, so we have, um, going forward, we have purpose, so a sense of, of knowing why you're here and wanting to be here and enjoying yourself. So what suggestions do we have moving forward? Okay. We have new beginning. Okay. So I really feel like you're um, turning over a new leaf here. <laughs> getting rid of anything that weighs you down. We have awareness with all these beautiful crystals. So really tapping into that awareness piece. And we have joy. So being happy. Um, you know, finding things that make you happy. Okay. Um, yeah, let's, let's find out some things. <laughs> So, what is the way forward? Thank you, Source. So we have purpose. What is the way forward? What is our purpose here? What does Spirit want us to know? Okay. We have, um, you know, um, seven wands. So, um, you know, I feel like let your defenses down. Um, you don't always have to be on guard. I feel like, you know, that's not being truthful to yourself. It's not being truthful to other people. And by doing so, I feel like there will be a huge, huge release here. And that will allow um, spirit to come in and really do the work. Because you've been really doing the work. And I feel like you're really tense and, and unable to relax because of all of your responsibilities. And it's like you're doing the dance, doing the dance, you know, in and out, in and out, in and out between your, your heart and your emotions. And it's like you can get really lost in that. So, if, um, you know, just hang out for a while. Just chill. Relax. Set the intention. Set the intention of what you want, okay? Because there's a new beginning happening, okay? Um, you know, rapid, rapid movement. As soon as you let your guard down, um, as soon as you, you know release release that defensive mindset and like realize you know the rat race is over um you're really going to allow spirit to come in so that is the message for that card really clear cut so i like that thank you spirit we have the five of pentacles clarifying new beginnings so i do feel like um uh, moving on moving on from something that just no longer serves you that's really just you know um becoming more of um you know um it's like you're holding on to it for dear life, um, in and out between two worlds, you know, possibly um, connected to other people, places, and things um, that you want to try, but, you know, you're staying stuck in this um, certain mindset of, like, you can't leave or, like, you don't know what to do, um, but the truth is, it's like, who cares? Just, you know, um, this brings me to a story, like, um, there was, uh, back in the 19, early 1900s, there was um, an Olympic guy um he was going to go run the olympics and someone stole his shoes in the morning so he you know it was 1918 or something and he went and looked everywhere and found um 
found a pair of shoes in the trash and wore them and he had to wear two socks in one of his shoes because it was too big for him and he still won two gold medals with those you know trash shoes so um all i'm saying is it's like you know um the spirit's gonna take care of you you know if something is taken from you it's it's was not meant for you you know in in you yourself and your inner being tending to your vibration should be the most important thing right now your happiness cannot depend on another person place or thing and it's okay to experiment and try new things and really, you know, read in between the lines of, you know, the kind of life that you want to live, you know. And um, tapping into your masculine side um, and, and showing off your power once in a while um, because you are staying mindful. So we have the Eight of Swords again, okay? And that's being clarifying the awareness. So take the blindfold off, you know. Um, see where you are at honestly you know start you know being mindful of your energy and like before you open up and just start shouting you know how happy you are or where you're at or um you know how discontent you are you know really just you know read the room and just take it easy you know there's no need to be impulsive at this time um so just take the blindfold off and you know release that um in that sense of you know having to do something you know because you might lose it you know that's just a trauma response you know maybe you grew up in a big family or something for example and you had to get that piece of bread because everyone was going to eat it on you stuff like that it's just you know you're an adult it's not going to happen anymore um and if it is it's manifesting in other ways because it's something that really wants to be healed And I do feel like this group, um, you know, you may be um, healing, you know, a big part of, you know, your childhood, you know, whether you had ADHD or something like that, I really feel like you are ready to move on here. Um, so we have the magician clarifying joy. So <clears throat> it's like you do have all your tools in your toolbox and you want to experience this this because you know it and it's like you really want to open up and be your true self and I do feel like you have that sounding void sounding <laughs> that sounding board somewhere and it gives you a lot of hope and, and, and happiness you know someone who's very spiritual and I feel like that you're a spiritual person this person is um, this connection is family um, you know and you know this could be a love partnership and a relationship with someone I'm with you might have a choice of between you know um, a couple people um, you know and that's cool good for you you're doing um, you know you're a hot ticket as I should say um, you know but it's important to keep your cup full um, you know relax when needed spirit is always going to take care of you and I feel like you know after years of you know the recovery process we kind of desensitize ourselves so it's important to practice that awareness and not forget that you know spirit is taking care of us because originally we were all like so excited and like relaxed and you know on guard yeah but you know overall relaxed trusting in the next right thing you know letting go and being carried stuff like that and that was all part of the wellness process but you know now it's like um we're experienced loss heartbreak despair um you know joy love um you know just all these things and, and it's just um, a beautiful thing but we definitely definitely don't have to do it alone here um, I'm just gonna split the deck so you know divine partnership here all these major arcanas are coming through um, I know on the bottom of the deck we have um, five of cups if you can see that so you know focus focusing on you know the worry isn't helping any much either so um, you know just relaxing I think basking in nature is important you know admiring you know if you have a hobby like maybe take some snapshots of um, the beautiful wildlife you know it's winter in the states here and um, you know it's a great time to um, get in touch with nature um, see what comes out um, because I'm sure that you know you guys want to go out when you want to ski or uh, snowboard or something um, you know but testing the waters you know baby steps right so let's get some angel messages these have been looking at me in the face for a while okay thank you spirit so we have karmic clearing that's been coming up a lot lately um you know you're definitely doing the work here um you know you're releasing suppressed emotions the feelings of not being good enough um you're releasing despair and doubt 
fear, balancing your, your inner masculine and inner female um, through growing pains, out with the old and in with the new, okay? So new offers are on the table. Um, it's more or less balancing your energy centers, so it's definitely some good things that you want. Um, I also feel like you're walking a tightrope here. So, um, you know, I feel like you've got a lot on your plate. <laughs> So we have mercy. I do feel like you're going to be getting help from, you know, a diff the the source, the universe. Um, you are divinely cared for. Source is recommending you to embrace vulnerability as it's safe to do so. So when I was on my way home from work tonight, I kept um, getting a message of humility and being humble. So um, that's coming to me right now. So there has been a significant shift in your consciousness within your being. So... Um, you know, just being kind to yourself and others, you know, um, even if someone's mean to you or whatever, it's it, just being kind, um, uh, that's definitely the way to go. It, it's, you know, it's, it's better for you that way anyways, okay? Um, and we have partnership. So, we're building of a partnership, um, working towards a partnership, um, this is your biggest obstacle. It says so a partnership is your biggest obstacle maybe you you know you never really had any healthy relationships um, maybe um, something along those lines but this card also suggests that um, not seeking love but finding the barriers we've built against it um, and I and that's important finding the blocks surrounding love and that way, you know, love can actually enter. So let's get some love messages while we're on that topic. So, so yeah, um, this is definitely for, this reading is definitely for um, your more mature individual, someone um, who's been through a lot, obviously. Um, but to me, this whole reading is just showing me um, there's not much left to, uh, I mean, there's always stuff to be healed, but essentially, like, this is, like, lifetime's worth of work right here that's been done. Um, you've been through hellfire, okay? I'm just acknowledging, you know, I know the pain that you've been through, and it gets better. We have integrity, so this, this group definitely has a lot of integrity, um, we are only as sick as our secrets, so just being being more yourself, dressing more yourself, um, giggling more yourself. Do not create more karma. Just let it go. You are right where you're supposed to be. You are the light. Take responsibility and move forward. Okay. Mm, I think I was going to take this card. We have bliss. So start doing some positive affirmations, okay? So, um, and it also mentions Tantra. So ma mantras, positive affirmations, conscious creator. This is the beginning of a big adventure. So finding peace after trauma. So maybe you're just in a um, shitty spot or something, but this is finding peace afterwards. So, you know, peace is here, here for you. Pleasure senses, exotic, Tantra, the weaver coming together as effortlessly serenity so i did just post a video on tantra um a reiki session so you, you know I, I definitely recommend um tapping into that it, it was definitely a deep clearing all right so we have ooh, we have fast track so i do feel like the message is coming in very quickly very quickly for you um progress is balance just remember that uh there is alignment here clearance concise direction of what you really want in a relationship Needs are being met, decisions ready for more. So I do feel like you are doing the work to accept more into your being. And I think we'll just get one more, one more card. I know that one wanted to sh sh It's a realization, realizing, um, ready, allowing. It's a spiritual awakening, the gift of desperation, awakening from a dream state, determination to overcome losses, freedom in the knowing. Um, Yeah, so that's some deep stuff. So let's get some messages from the universe. We'll get a couple and see what is the next step. What is the next step for this group? We have 
seek the lesson, so learn from it. Um, we have the wolf, wolf energy, so if you're born in March, um, this is the totem of the wolf, so it's really important that you can um, tap into this for any sort of help, your Native American totem. Um, also the wolf, um, leader, um, travel in packs, um, so number 35 goes to number 8. Um, you could be a life path eight, okay? Um, third eye, third eye um, symbolism here. So seek the lesson in where you're at um, and seek the lesson because you are in some sort of, a, you are in alignment here, so the, the lesson will show its face. Um, just be ready to hear it. We have love that you are different. So I do feel like, you you know, you don't obviously um, fit in that box of crayons with everybody. Um, you're a little bit funky, but it's um, like a, a beautiful thing. Um, you know, you don't have to like all that music. You don't have to, you know, um, work that same job or, you know, not... I don't even know what this card means. Love that you are different. I feel like you already have love you are different. So what I'm gathering is it's like be bold. Be bold in your uniqueness, okay? Be bold in your sovereignty. And we have have courage. So yeah, just goes back to, um, you know, um, love that you are different. Have the strength to go forward. Um, you know, nothing will harm you here. You know, you are the king. You are the queen here. And I'm just going to grab this one as well. Wash away your burdens. So, um, yes, and I do want to just mention if anybody listens to Kay Moon, um, she's an astrologist. Um, the Gemini moon just happened recently, and there's just been some big awakenings, and, you know, um, the new moon's coming up, and we're in December. So if you're willing um, and you're receiving these heavy energies, you know, you can take the salt salt baths as needed um you know maybe three times a week or something um for now but i feel like there's just a lot of um stuff that needs to be washed away and if you're unable to take like a salt bath you know um you know look for other ways to really cleanse your space all the time but not so much your space i mean but your body um see how you can um get into that space of like lightness and I personally have been taking um, salt baths and they're very helpful because when the energies get too thick and I just want to, you know, release, um, I'll do that and I'll get massages. Um, so um, nothing's really coming off the top of my head, but, you know, maybe there's could be some sort of like music that you can listen to that will really um, detoxify um, what's going on here. But um you know, I understand that a lot of you are working and you don't have the capabilities of, of um, taking a bath. So, um, yeah. Anyhow, um, sending love and light to you. I really hope this message helped. And namaste.